It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Campbell has attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. I haven't done anything. Oh my gosh. Oh, I I'm so dangerous. What? Just kicked it. <laughs> we can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they would allow it. The Echoes have a will of their own. Okay, I don't need to keep charging that all the way. Just look so much. <laughs> look at it, it's so pretty. <laughs> Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Deadly with a blade. We didn't much like Clive, but with better manners. I don't think we ever met Yoti or knew her name. How? Like, I just, I don't recall him saying it to us or her saying it to us. Why are there so many side quests right now? Can we wait until I at least save Gav? Can we put, can we chill on the side quests? Oh, okay. Alright, well, relax, Joshua. Alright, this is... I'm the main character, alright? Let's chill on the anime shit. We're nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within.
You better say something. My what lord the... Marquess, it is an honor. The fuck? I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. What took you so long to get? It was a I right so turn. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Or more specifically, to its heir. They have served our family for generations, albeit from the shadows. Since their inception, they have been tasked with the preservation and enactment of the rites of ancestral communion. After the events at Phoenix Gate, it was the Undying who delivered me to safety. And since the day I left Rosaria, Yote has been my constant companion and protector. Without her sword, I would not have survived my journey across the realm. Rise, Lady Yote. You saved my brother. I owe you a debt I can never repay. I but did my duty. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Einherjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Einherjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sense the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda Knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them? Yes. And the Black Galleon sails up at one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. The Mama's Boy. Meanwhile... The Agora. But are we truly safe here in the Agora? The city guard have been paid, if that's what you're implying. All the more reason for them to run. Well, you are free to leave, Lord Minister. Markets abandoned, warehouses aflame, blackened house choking every port in the capital. Canva is ruined. The realm teeters on the brink of chaos, and all you can think about is commerce. Forgive us. We were not aware Dalmechia now subsisted on charity. How dare you? Distinguished members of the council. You must forgive his majesty this intrusion. What did you... What is the meaning of this? A trifle crowded, but I fear it will have to serve, my liege. Very well. My colleagues, do you not see? The king, he has come to save us from the Akashi. Is a gift from the heavens, divine intervention, our very salvation. And of course, if it is compensation he requires, we would be most willing to negotiate a fair price for services rendered. Fools. Your ignorance unbecomes you. Your Majesty, correct me if I'm wrong, 
But I would swear that the fiends washing the cobbles of Canva with the blood of her citizens wear the colors of Walud. <laughs> ah, so you do not deny it. This music yes. is good. Better than, and see our guests to the dungeons. <laughs> Enough. Still here, somewhere in the city. Her consciousness fair dripping with her late father's hubris. Who? A consciousness to which Muthos is inextricably bound and inexorably drawn. See that he is made welcome. Yes, Your Majesty. Come, Muthos. Surely the prince's light cannot have sated you. He's gonna be the thumbnail. So then. How long has Walud been under Ultima's control? How long indeed? Based on what we know of Barnabas' actions, I would guess some few years, mayhap more. But to what end? What does Ultima want? The tapestry. Show them. remains of the faith it represents, save what can be gleaned from the image itself. None could tell me what the one in the apodotry meant, even the undying. But I believe it may be the key to discerning Ultima's purpose. The figure in the center, the one beneath whom the icons congregate, that I believe to be Ultima. He is a god, or at least godlike. His very existence beyond our ken. The icons, and by extension their dominance, are meant to be his subjects. And while some, like Barnabas, have accepted this role, others have rejected it. Like you, Clive. Which is rather inconvenient, as it appears he needs you most of all. And gods don't like to be disobeyed. <laughs> I don't suppose they do. Clive, may I tell Yote of the lake? By all means. Yote, I will be accompanying my brother to the free cities. And whilst we are afield, I would have you watch over those Clive has made his wards. Omia lost Delan to his Sag Ilie. Though well concealed, the hideaway lacks trained fighters to defend its occupants should they be discovered. But it is my duty to... As it has ever been my brother's duty. Remember. If... If that is your wish, your grace. But please be safe. If aught were to befall you, I... You have my word. Aww. Well, my lord, my lady. We 
are in your debt, Yote. She's definitely gonna die. One hundred percent. Let's find our friends. Yeah, no, there's no way. She's too precious. She's absolutely on the death train. It's plain she cares for you. Is that another fucking side quest? this now. Cyril. How far is the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril, knight of the undying and bearer of the burning quill. Charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of his grace, Joshua Rosfield, keeper of the flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is and has ever been our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun, and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Boy, he's just so creepy. I don't Perhaps like using that word. Token. Phoenix down. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Does that mean I'm gonna get more side quests? Please no. I just ran through like eight of them. We'll talk about this later. Please no more side quests. You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Nice. The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. What even are we? Mercenaries? Assassins? Oh, 
Lord. Sounds like thunder. We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. Gav. I thought that was you, Gav. Mid. Good to see you. Byron. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you, or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My Whoa. Lady. Whoa. Hey. What? <laughs> Byron, that's right. Your other nephew. what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people. <sighs> Dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh... The Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. Mid has the most Super different Mid face in the game. Tell, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you're stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Gutter snipe. <laughs> He is my favorite character. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. My dog. Both of you. My partner. You too. My furry little killer. I want a new sword, man. Is it just me and Torg? Looks like it, by the way they split up. Sick is... I need to use more Ravage. Dromy Striker. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? Anyway. Alright, it's just me and Torg. Let's go! Let's find those survivors. Oh. 
They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. Oh my lord. Hit me! Okay, like, I meant let me dodge it though. <laughs> I can combo that? Wait a minute, Torgo. They didn't have to die, though. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Damn it. Flawless. I'm so good at playing a Storgol. I need some magic. If only they were like hitting though. Damn it, every time. There we go. What the am talking about, baby?
You! Jesus. Monsters. Being honest. There's a boat. <laughs> ah, what the f Where did you come from? Okay, so I can turn it off, but it doesn't save me anything at all, so it's kind of no point in turning it off. Unless I just want to start charge sooner. Bamboozle. That's 
sound epic. Joshua and Jill must be busy. Oh, hi. Oh, man. They brought out the big boy. survivors inside no there aren't no there are I mean he didn't see the gutscene but no there's there's there definitely no one inside
You've caused quite the commotion. This guy? But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. Why do you keep saying with with a you? You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rosfield. They are men. Like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. That's cat. And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. What? I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Dying? Pardon me this indulgence, your majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am sleep near of House Harbor. Sleep near. And you will yield. Or not. As long as you don't hold back. Okay, that's what that is. His HP isn't going down. I want it. Watch closely, I want it. I love Gungnir. Give it to me, please. I want that. Oh shoot, that's a beam.
Ooh, okay. Is that a Tosker? Don't doing anything with that thing at my feet. I get so many points. Sanguine insignia. The vessel is strong. I'm just consistent. My leash. I do want that goon here though. Can you like I wanna be a dragoon? Please. What? <laughs> what if he just answered like that? Right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. What the fuck? the king indeed you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm warden of Ash and king of Walu and number one mommy issue get back Oh, this music sounds so good, though. Oh, 
Oh, I'm about to get wiped on. Nah, he's too calm. Bro, he just shoulder checked me. I'm done. you so the power within you mythos the potential stop calling me mythos but mythos is everything the cornerstone of all creation the lord's vessel your purpose my purpose to surrender my mind and body to that thing. No, your majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised. This scene is just so good. The music... I talk shit about him, but I like this guy. He's delightfully evil. Will he be all right? The phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. 
Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> it is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. My boy. Oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, a lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the King busy, while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of our icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Well, of course I do. My dad'll have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings. If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose you might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. <laughs>